let's move to the next question in this question we are given a figure in the adjoining figure we have a b c d and it is a cyclic quadrilateral with opposite sides a d and b c and these two sides are produced and they met at a point e and we are given the adjacent angles that is d a b is 30 degrees and angle a b c is 110 degrees and we are supposed to find angle d e c so let's work out the problem here we take a b c d is a cyclic quadrilateral and the opposite sides are produced to meet at angle e and here we form a triangle d e c using this we find these angles to find this angle we need to find the remaining angles of this triangle so how we can find it means so by finding these angles that is adjacent angles angle d and angle c we find the angle e so let's start step by step process we are given the adjacent angles angle a to this angle a angle c is opposite and we are given angle b that is angle a b c to this angle b angle a d c is opposite so using these two we find the remaining angles what is the relation between these two means in a cyclic quadrilateral sum of opposite angles is 180 degrees because opposite angles are supplementary now we take angle DAB to this angle we have angle DCB is opposite so their sum must be 180 degrees and angle DCB is equal to 180 minus angle DAB and it is 30 degrees so 180 minus 30 is 110 degrees so we have angle DCB which is 110 degrees similarly we have angle ABC to this angle ABC we have angle ADC which is opposite to it and their sum must be 180 degrees and angle ADC is equal to 180 minus angle ABC which is 110 degrees and it is equal to 70 degrees thus we get the angles using these angles we have to find the remaining angles of triangle DEC and here we have triangle DEC in this triangle DE is side and we have ADE is a straight line so angle ADC and angle CDE is a linear pair that is their sum must be 180 degrees we already know angle ADC which is 70 degrees and we calculate angle CDE and it is equal to 180 minus 70 which is 110 degrees similarly we have another straight line that is DCB so DCB is a straight line we have angle BCD and angle DCE and their sum must be 180 degrees it is because it is also a linear pair so angle DCE is equal to 180 minus angle BCD which is 150 degrees and it is equal to 30 degrees therefore we know two sides of triangle DEC that is 110 and 30 degrees so the remaining angle is 180 minus the sum of remaining angles therefore in triangle ADE angle at A plus angle at D plus angle at C is equal to 180 degrees and we have to find angle DEC here we have to find angle DEC and it is equal to 180 minus sum of the remaining angles that is 110 minus that is 110 plus 30 it is equal to 180 minus 140 it is 40 degrees therefore angle DAC is 40 degrees and this completes our solution